What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonfly video. I'm going to keep getting that right. Don't worry. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I hope things are going well for you. I hope you're enjoying the Dragonfly content because there's a whole bunch of it. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. Um, lots of announcements over the last couple days. Alpha is live right now. I am not in as of yet. Let's check one more time. I'm not in, I don't think, which is sad. But that's okay. We'll get into beta, hopefully, and then we can test some stuff out. For now, though, we're continuing with our series analyzing these talent trees. And again, I've had, you know, I think some people talk about like, oh, it's too early to talk about these trees because like they're going to change. Like, yeah, they're going to change with feedback. So we need to make sure that we're providing Blizzard with feedback on the trees that are here to say, hey, listen, this is great. Please keep this in. This is terrible. Please get rid of it. Yada, yada. So we want to make sure that we're analyzing these and talking about them as a community and helping Blizzard receive that feedback because they have been adamant about being able to take feedback now and process it and hopefully produce better results. You know, I was just listening. They were talking about some of the dragon writings, the new dragon writing system, for example. There's a there's an interview I was just watching with Ian Hezacostas talking about dragon writing in Dragonflight. And one of the people asked him, like, is this a system that's going to continue after Dragonflight? Because this is a really fun system. And he's like, well, it's up to you guys. You need to let us know. What is this? Do you like this system? Do you really, really, really like this system? And then we'll figure out if we can make it work in, in the rest of the world. And if you guys like it enough, then we'll do it. That's basically what he was saying was if you – the feedback that you give us is going to determine what we do with this system. So this is what we need to be doing with all these talent systems that are coming out. Let Blizzard know what you like and what you don't like because it's it's actually important. It's going to provide real feedback for them, and they're going to make changes. So let's get right into it. The Marksman Hunter tree, we've done survival. We did the base class tree. We're doing Marksman now. Marksman Hunter is looking pretty good, actually, in the spec tree. And their um, class tree is looking very interesting. So let's get into it on the class tree, first of all. When I, I've analyzed this class tree a lot, if you watch the class tree video, uh, this is pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty rough, like, tree, and there's lots of things to change. But for Marksman Hunter, it's actually quite good because they don't have to go to the hard left over here and grab all of the kill command stuff. BM Hunter and Survival Hunter still rely very heavily on kill command. And so they're forced to, like, take kill command and come down the tree. And generally speaking, you're going to start right and you're going to go hard left. And then you work your way down to these these kill command talents. But you don't have to do that as a marksman hunter because you don't really press kill command. Now, we'll get back to that later. You could potentially press kill command. And I'm sure there will actually be a marksman hunter build that does not take lone wolf and has kill command. And is some weird, janky version of all that. I don't know. I'm just saying I think it could exist. But it doesn't exist right now. What does exist right now in Shadowlands for Marksman Hunter is literally just an aim shot build. Like, you just press aim shot. It's al almost always it's at least 50% of your damage is just aim shot. So, I think Blizzard is being very conscious of what's here and saying, hey, you might actually be able to do a kill command build as a Marksman Hunter and not just press aim shot all the time. So, we'll have to see. Where that kind of goes, I don't think it'll happen. I'm just saying it exists, okay? It exists. Here's what you're probably going to do as a marksman hunter, okay? Here's a tree that's that's probably what your tree is going to look like, roughly speaking, okay? I'm guessing that you are going to dip over here, and then you're also definitely going to go down here, and you're kind of just going to end up with something like this. So you start out with kill shot. There's a bunch of kill shot synergy over here. We'll get to that later. Then you're going to work your way down. What you're really looking for on the Marksman Hunter tree is this. Keen Insight gives you 6% crit. It's 2% times 3. This is all bugged right now, so just, just trust me on these numbers. 6% crit is really, really good because there's crit synergy on the Marksman Hunter tree. Then you get Barrage for free, which is a button that uh, Marksman Hunters actually took sometimes anyway. Not really on live because there were better buttons. It shared a talent tree with Explosive Shot and careful aim but careful aims over here now and explosive shots down here so barrage might actually see some play and it, it's probably definitely going to see some play because it's it's guarding master marksman which like is a massive massive deal this is something you want to be taking as marksman hunter this is one of the best passives that you had 
This this shared a talent tree with Serpent Sting and Murder of Crows. And, of course, Serpent Sting's over here. Murder of Crows is gone for Marksman Hunter. It's not even here anymore. But you could take Serpent Sting, and you can definitely take Master Marksman. Okay? Or Explosive Shot, if you want. Which also shared a tree with Barrage, as I was saying. So, there's some cool buttons that you get to take now. And some interesting talent choices that you get to open up that you wouldn't have taken before. Because they're kind of buried behind other options that are better. Right? That are just better. So, very, very cool. 6% crit. Barrage is cool. Master Marksman is good. And then I'm going to do Chimera Shot in a second. Death Chakram is also an interesting option, or regular Chakrams, but I think Death Chakram is a really good option if you are doing a physical-focused build, which, generally speaking, Marksman Hunter does the most physical damage of all three of the specs, I think. You know, Survival Hunter is, like, doing a lot of mixed damage, like fire and nature damage with all of the Serpent Sting stuff. Um, BM Hunter also does actually a lot of physical damage, but they could spec into other stuff like Serpent Sting stuff for on the class tree here. But I think that Death Rockman could be a really good take for BM Hunter, but BM Hunter has to go over here and get Kill Command stuff, so they can't always get Death Shockroom. But Death Rockman could be taken by uh, Marksman Hunter, and it's very, very valuable because it does give you increased physical damage. Enemies struck by Death Rockham take 10% more physical damage from you and your pet for 10 seconds. And your pet. So, conceivably, you can fire Death Rockham out, then do, like, multi-shot, get the trick shot effect, and then fire off, like, a huge double-tapped rapid fire or a double-tapped aim shot. And this is going to give you 10% more damage on all those targets, as long as it's bouncing in between multiple targets. And again, if you only have one target, it's going to hit that one target multiple times. So I think that Marksman Hunter has the opportunity here to kind of go straight down the tree. Instead of swinging hard left to get all the the um, kill command stuff, you can kind of just take a Death Shock Room, get your Master Marksman, get Barrage, take these extra bonuses over here potentially... And then also get Chimera Shot, which I want you to look at the tooltip very closely. Chimera Shot says two-headed shot that deals 65% attack power to the primary target. And 65% attack power to a nearby target, it does frost damage. But they both do 65%. The Chimera Shot on live does 65% and 32%. Okay? So... Arcane Shot, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is uh, tripping out here. Arcane Shot, I think, is just baseline. It is baseline. And I don't know how much damage it does. Uh, let me look at... Uh... Sorry, give me one second here. Uh, Chimera Shot. Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't here we go. Oh, it doesn't, oh, here we go. Arcane Shot. So Arcane Shot looks like it does... A lot of damage. Chimera Shot doesn't do anywhere near as much, but you're spreading that damage out over the over two targets. So we'd have to look at this in-game. But I'm what I'm saying is that the old Chimera Shot, the one in Shadowlands right now, does 65% and 32%. And then the new Chimera Shot that we have in Dragonflight, sorry, I was looking at something off screen there, looks like it does double that damage. It does 65 and 65. So it looks like a buff to me, and it's going to give you two-target cleave damage. You might not want to take this, and you don't have to take this. You could stop at Keen Insight and then go elsewhere with your points. You know, whatever you want to do. Maybe get some more utility here. But the option is there, okay? The option is there. So that's what you want to do, I think, for Marksman Hunter in terms of the class tree. You can get Master Marksman, which is good. You can get Barrage for free, which is good. 6% crit is really good. 10% more physical damage from Death Chakram seems good to me. And then you can get this Nature Fire damage stuff if you want to, or get more utility or go down and get Nessing where he's trapped. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, but let's just pretend like you wanted to do it. You have choices as Marksman Hunter, whereas I think BM and Survival have less choices because they have to go over here and get Kill Command stuff. Okay? You with me so far? <clears throat> That's the class tree. Let's talk about the... Um, let's talk... Oh, we're sneaking over. Let's talk about the spec tree. Let me divide it up for you, first of all. The left side of the tree is rapid fire and trick shots. Okay, rapid fire is here, trick shots is here. There's like four in a row that are all trick shot based. Okay, rapid fire, trick shot. The middle is like steady shot, true shot. The right side is aim shot, kill shot. And then 
Sylvanas. Rapid fire, multi shot slash trick shots, uh, steady shot buffs, true shot, aim shot, kill shot, Sylvanas. I know it's I know it's I know it's kind of like confusing, but stay with me, okay? Let's do the left side of the tree first. Arcane shot focus cost reduced by 10. That also applies to Chimera shot. It's just not saying it in the tooltip. Okay. Rapid fires here. Streamlines here right away. Okay. Then you get the extra focus generation from Struin. Let me look at the talents right now. Is that a nerf? Looks like a nerf to me. No, it's not. Streamline here says rapid fires damage is increased by 15%. Bring this over here. And then it also causes your next aim shot to cast 30% faster. This says rapid fire's damage is increased by 15%. And it causes your next aim shot. Oh, sorry. This is the improved rapid fire here. I'm an idiot. So sorry. This shows up somewhere else on the tree, right? Or is it just baseline? Is this just a baseline thing that rapid fire um, generates one focus? I feel like that's just baseline. I think that's baseline. So this is kind of a nerf. They're basically spreading out the rapid fire talent that you would normally get. Like you're getting streamline, but you have to spend one point in rapid fire, two for streamline, and then another one for improved rapid fire to get what you already have right now on live. So kind of four points for like one skill. It's a little bit of a yikes. It's a bit cringe, but let's move on. Again, you are getting a talent here. You're getting streamline. So now you can take something else, right? You could get Chimera Shot. You could get Steady Focus, which is down here. So you, this is where you're getting the bonuses. This is why they're making it cost more. This is why it feels like you're losing something. You're not losing anything. It just costs you a little bit more to get up to the same power level on Rapid Fire that you have on Live. But it means you can also take Steady Shot, which you can't do on Live. So that's the trade. Or you could take Chimera Shot, which you can't do on Live. You can't do both. Okay. Then you have a choice here. Arcane shot, multi shot, I uh, have a 30% chance to reduce going to rapid fire. That's here, right? That's right here. Or you can get a, a legendary surging shots. Rapid fire deals 35% additional damage. So that's a good legendary. I, I like surging shots a lot. So that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to take that. Volley's here. This is part of the AoE kit that's over here. Volley is right here. Um, it shared a talent roll with lock and load. And with calling the shots, which is right here. So you could get all three of those. Those are your final row. That's right down here, right? The final row. So interesting there. Then you have 4% um, critical strike damage. That's really bad. Please, Blizzard, get rid of this. I don't know why this is here. Feels like a placeholder. 4% critical strike damage for two talent points? Like, what are we talking about? This is such a bad waste of talent points. Please, Blizzard, get rid of this. Then we have double tap. Blizzard has said they're moving double tap. Okay. Likely be moved to a different place on the tree and something else we put in the bottom left spot. So they're working on it right now. They're working on it, which is great. That's what you like to see. Okay. So they're working on it, but just pretend like it's here. Sorry. I just clicked again because I'm a psychopath. Come on. There we go. This is new. This light salvo stuff. I'm going to just click again. Let's just move it over here so I can stop being so awful at this. So that's your rapid fire line, okay? I just want to highlight that. Rapid fire. Now we're getting into like trick shot territory. So you got careful aim up here, which is shares a cooldown or shares a talent tree with barrage and explosive shot. So you could actually have all three of them now if you want. Aim shot was the is the de facto pick on live because that's the build with the four piece and everything, right? So that's what was taken. But now you could potentially skip this if you wanted to. If you're not going to do an aim shot focus build, if you're doing a rapid fire focus build. But let's like let's pretend right now that we're taking it. <clears throat> Here's multi shot. Okay. Hit your current target and all enemies within 10 yards. Then you get trick shot. Multi shot has hits three or more targets. Your next aim shot of rapid fire will ricochet to five enemies for 55%. That's the standard trick shot right now. Then you get salvo. When trick shot's effect fades or is consumed, your next multi shot will deal additional damage. That feels like a, a conduit to me. MM Hunter Conduits. I think it's a conduit. I just got rid of that tab. MM Hunter Conduits. Um, I don't want Covenant. Here we go. Just show me conduits, please. 
Don't try to do it for me. I will figure it out on my own. This is called uh, Salvo when trickshot effect ends. I don't think it's called that. Let me just look at this really quick. Sharpshooters. Nope. 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 Endurance. Nope. Finesse. Uh, potency. Interesting. It doesn't seem like it's here. Deadly Chain simply buffs our damage. Trick shot secondary damage is increased. No. This is it here. This is kind of the similar. Precise shots increases the damage of your next arcane shot or multi shot. When trick shot effect fades, your next multi shot will deal additional damage. So it's a similar idea. I think we have powerful precision here, but it's called something else. We'll have to look around for it. <clears throat> Either way, this is sort of a multi shot variant of that salvo. Okay. So. When the trick shot effect fades, your next multi shot will deal additional damage. Then we have a new thing. Trick shots now causes aim shot or rapid fire to hit two additional targets. So instead of hitting five, it hits seven. So your AOE goes up, which is very cool. Or if you want heavy ammo, then your trick shot ricochets to two fewer targets, but you do more damage. So instead of five targets, it's three targets, and then you do more damage. So you can you can change yourself to go big AOE or like three target cleave, which is very cool. And then you have double tap, of course, which is going to move. So rapid fire, this is your trick shot line right here. In the middle is like some steady shot stuff. Generates 10 focus. I don't know if it doesn't generate 10 focus on like normally. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But true aim. Chimera shot and multi-shot damage increased by 25%. That's a that's a great talent right there. That's a great talent. Then more steady shot stuff. This is steady focus. Using steady shot twice in a row increases your haste by 7%. Of course, this was a talent, and it's shared aligned with streamline. So if you're doing an aim shot build, I think you took steady focus. If you're doing a rapid fire build, you took streamline. Now you could do both. I don't, I don't know if there would ever be a case where you would steady shot twice in a row while doing a rapid fire build. I haven't played it quite enough to understand that, but somebody let me know. Let me know if you would ever take streamline and steady focus at the same time. You can now if you want to. Then here's true shot. It's the same as it is on live. Roost is a cooldown of aim shot rapid fire and then causes them to recharge faster and cast faster. You get 50% more focus. Sorry, just casts faster and cools down faster. Then you get calling the shots, which once again is um is is here. So you can get lock and load over here. Let me get rid of double tap. Right? I keep doing that. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's triggering. You can get lock and load. Volley is here, plus lock and load is here plus calling the shot so i don't know how much value there is in getting all three of these like i feel like this is kind of not game breaking but it opens up a lot of builds because arcane shot and multi shot reducing the cooldown of true shot is pretty cool true shot's only a two minute cooldown um then there's another buff to true shot while true shot is active you gain crit stacks up to 10 times true shot lasts three seconds longer and then reduces the focus cost of your abilities even more so it's 25% there. So you generate 50% more focus, and then you could also make your abilities cost less focus. So like you could do a pure true shot build where you're just, it's whenever you press true shot, you're just an absolute god who's going to just slay everything in front of you. And then you can also get lock and load, which again is over here. So I don't know if there's like value to taking lock and load and then the true shot stuff. Or lock and load and the volley stuff and just get a baseline true shot and don't take the bonuses. Like, there's something there, I think, right? Which is kind of cool. But that's your middle row, right? Steady shot plus true shot buffs. And you can really go hard on true shot if you want to. Um, That seems pretty good to me. True shot's a pretty important cooldown. I know people think it's... I've actually heard people say it's like a it's a it's it's a bad cooldown. But I've actually, I mean, when you press it, you're just like giga juiced. Like it's crazy how you feel unstoppable. Like you just, you just aim shot, aim shot, aim shot, and you just trick shot, aim shot, trick shot, aim shot. It's just really wild. So I think it's, I think it's quite strong. And then they're giving it some buffs here, right? It looks like this isn't 1.5 seconds. This is actually three seconds. Calling the shots is three seconds. Let me just see once again if this is here in the same form. It's 2.5 seconds on live. So this is a slight buff. This is a two-point talent. Arcane shot, multi-shot, or chimera shot. Reduce the cooldown of true shot by three seconds, not 2.5. So that is a slight buff, which is very cool. Lock and load is 8%. That's the same on live. Okay? So that's the middle row. 
then let's let's get rid of this rapid fire nonsense and let's pretend like we're doing an aim shot build so you're not even going to take rapid fire let's just pretend you're going to keep this careful aim here though and keep your trick shot bonus stuff here so you still have some aoe nobody cares about this maybe you do actually we'll get back to that so then you go aim shot precise shots right there it is arcane shot uh, aim shot causes your next one to two chimeras arcanes multi shots to deal more damage doesn't tell us what the damage is but this is just um this is a standard thing for marksman hunter right now in the game aim shot critical strike chance by 10 percent it's two times five it's 10 killing blow critical kill shot crit strike increased by 20 percent that's pretty crazy then you can get bullseye which is an old legion idea bullseye is right here where is it i saw it before i know it's here guys i know it's here i'm not psycho am i oh there it is i'm like am i psycho <laughs> there it is so whenever your abilities deal um damage a target below 20 percent you get basically um oh this is one percent crit stacking 30 times this is 1% crit stacking. We don't know how many times. I don't know. This is bugged right now. It might be 30 times. Who knows? But this is like your execute thing, which is super cool. I don't know how strong this is, but maybe on bosses that have a long execute phase, this would be very powerful, right? So that's kind of cool. I'm going to get rid of it for now. Bursting Shot is back, which was a Legion thing as well. It's not the same as the knockback that, Hunt, that Marksman Hunter has right now. It's not the same. Um, let me just look at this really quickly. Single target, true shot, multi-target. No. No. Uh, I was trying to look at like... Oh, spell summary. Here we go. Spell summary. Let's look at this together. Give me a second here. That's your DPS stuff. Very cool. That's your talents, movement stuff, blah blah blah. Bursting shot. Oh wait, we have they have it right now. I'm just an idiot. I thought there was a different ability. I'm just dumb, guys. I'm very sorry. I thought there was another knockback, but that is the knockback. So I'm just stupid. So you get bursting shot right here. It's the same thing, and then you get a bonus here if you fall below forty percent health. Bursting shot's cool as music. So this is like a PVP talent, like pure and simple. PvP. Then you get Death Blow. This is where your aim shot starts turning into a um, kill shot buff as well, which is very interesting. So, aim shot is a 10% chance to grant a charge of kill shot. That's not on the talent tree. You have Dead Eye on the talent tree, but you don't have this. So, aim shot is a 10% chance to grant a charge of kill shot. Cause your next kill shot to be usable on any target, regardless of their current health. This is like the Venthyr Flayed Shot bonus, potentially, right? But only they're tying it to Aim Shot. They did a similar thing to Survival Hunter, and they tied it to a different ability there. Kill Command, I believe. So they're taking like the Aim Shot Flayed, or sorry, the um, the Venthyr Flayed Shot buff, and they're like dividing it up amongst the specs, kind of, which is interesting. Then you have Lone Wolf down here, and I don't know why it's all the way down here. I, I This has got to be like moved up to the top of here or moved into the top row. It's very strange that it's here. I feel like Blizzard has either intentionally put it here because they want you to look at different builds for Marksman Hunter, or else it's just been misplaced. Because it's very strange that it's here. But remember, you don't have to take Lone Wolf at all. You can progress down to the bottom of the tree without taking Lone Wolf, and then you'll have a pet, and you could genuinely do like a Kill Command build as a Marksman Hunter. Marksman Hunter's Mastery simply says all of your damage is increased by X amount. If that Mastery stays the same, you could genuinely take pets and increase the damage as, as well there. But you do have Lone Wolf here, which I think most Marksman Hunters are going to stick with. It increases your damage by 10%. Then you're going to go over here to Quick Shot. Kill Shot causes Aim Shot to recharge 100% faster, which is essentially um, it's similar to Deadeye. Deadeye on live causes it to recharge 60% faster, but you get Deadeye here. Killshot gets two charges now, and then it, re it causes Aimshot to recharge 100% faster. 
and now you have a chance for your aim shot to make it castable on anybody and you have more buffs over here 50 percent or 25 percent critical damage so your six percent crit over here is really good then you can take 20 percent crit here on kill shot so now your kill shot has 26 percent chance to crit if it does crit your aim shot will start recharging 100% faster. And your aim shot has a chance to give you back your kill shot. So really good synergy here on the kill shot aim shot thing going on here. Okay. Very, very interesting. Here's another really interesting thing. There's lock and load. This is the Sylvanas stuff. I'll get to the Sylvanas stuff in a second. This is the last, second last thing I want to talk about. Aim shot has a 100% chance to also fire a serpent sting. That's a legendary from Shadowlands. Now, this is pretty cool. The only problem with it is that you are required to take the Serpent Sting talent in order to get the Serpent Sting buffs. If you want to get latent poison injectors, which right now is the only buff here that actually works with Marksman Hunter, because it says requires Hunter. Viper's Venom says it requires survival. I feel like they should change Viper's Venom here to say requires Hunter. And instead of having Raptor Strike trigger this, it could just be your next aim shot. Your, your aim shot has a chance to make your next Serpent Sting cost no focus because then that would synergize perfectly with the fact that aim shot's going to fire a Serpent Sting all on its own. But what you could do is legitimately go latent poison injectors and then just fire off aim shots and you'll be spreading um, Serpent Sting for free and getting the latent poison injector buff going as well. So that's a really interesting... Like, instead of it um, taking up an entire legendary slot... Now it's just a talent. It's just it's just a two-point talent. And then you just take your two-point talents over here, which you're probably going to take anyway because you're over here on the right-hand side of the tree. And then you're kind of getting these Serpent Stings like for free. It's not for free. It costs you like four points. But you see what I'm saying. It doesn't cost you like an entire legendary slot. It just costs you a couple talents now. So this is very interesting. It's weird that it's this far down on the tree and that there's no other synergies at all with Serpent Sting stuff. But I feel like this is an interesting idea that Marksman Hunter can now transition their builds a little bit from just literally being aim shot physical damage to like aim shot now fires a Serpent Sting. Your Serpent Sting now puts a latent poison on the enemy. And now your uh, aim shot is also potentially giving you back kill shot. And then you get a free kill shot proc and you fire it. And then that kill shot proc gives you your aim shot back 100% faster. So you're firing more aim shots, adding more serpent stings to everybody. Those serpent stings are now giving an additional poison on top of that. You see what I'm saying? You can kind of get this whole serpent sting vibe going for free, which is kind of cool. And um, I don't know how much damage it's going to actually do or if it's worth like investing in it at all, but you don't have to invest that much to get it. That would be my argument here. So that's kind of cool. Again, there's no other synergy at all on the tree here. So I feel like they need to like create a little bit more synergy with the class tree because Serpent Sting and, and the buff and Explosive Shot are like super random. Like they don't really make sense with Marksman Hunter. So I feel like they could change that a bit. So, last part of the tree here. Legacy of the Wind Runners. <clears throat> I have uh, five points left. So, you go Aim Shot has a chance to coalesce six extra wind arrows that also fire your target. This is, in fact, this right here, Call of the Hunter. When you marked shot, it's had a chance to call forth a barrage of wind arrows. So, they've just transferred that into making it a Sylvanas theme. So, Aim Shot now has a chance. I don't know what the chance is because this is a two-point talent. I don't know what I'm upgrading by putting two points into this. It's very unclear. Aim shot has a chance to uh, coalesce six extra wind arrows that also shoot your target. Very cool. I don't know how good that is at all. Then you have wailing arrow. Sorry, in a second. Uh, bonus wind arrows from aim shot have a 5% chance, which is going to be a 15% chance, uh, increased critical strike chance, and they deal 15% increased critical strike damage. So, Maybe that's good. It'd have to be how, how often these things proc. It says proc rate 15% chance, but if that's really how, how high it is, that's not very good because aim shot is not something that you can like spam, right? It's a slow casting, big, big ability. So I don't, I don't really know how good this is. Bonus wind arrows get 15% more damage, 15% critical strike chance. So it's kind of interesting. Sorry, critical strike damage, critical strike chance. Then you have um, wailing arrow. Fires an enchanted arrow, dealing shadow damage to your target and an additional... 
uh, uh, additional dam shadow damage to all enemies within eight yards. Targets struck by Willing Arrow are silenced for five seconds. So one minute cooldown, very, very big damage. Um, I'm assuming you can trick shot this as well. Sorry, not trick shot it. Trick shot only applies to um, aim shot or rapid fire. So never mind. It does AoE damage anyway, and it has an AoE silence. So that seems like a good ability that you're going to want to take, in my opinion. So we'll have to see how good it is on live, obviously. But that's kind of it, guys. This is a very strange talent tree. It's like part of it works, and then part of it's just weird, man. Like, you have rapid fire over here with double tap. That's fine. Double tap's going to move. We know that. Then you have your um, AoE portion here with multi-shot, trick shot, and then this ammo, which means you can make your... You can go bigger AoE or smaller AoE with more damage. I love this idea. This part of the tree is amazing to me. Extra volley for more AoE. Then you've got this middle portion, which is like weird steady shot buffs. And then your true shot buff, which I like the true shot buff. I like calling the shots. And I like this um, unerring vision or Eagle Talon's true focus. I like this. I think this is a good little portion here. Then you have like aimed shot buffs. And then you have your lone wolf thing over here. And then you have Serpent Sting jumping into the mix. And then you have a Kill Shot jumping into the mix. So you could have like an Aim Shot Kill Shot build, an Aim Shot Serpent Sting build. You can go Lone Wolf. You could not go Lone Wolf. Maybe you do a Wacko build with Kill Command. And then you have Sylvanas stuff down here, which is sort of its own little identity with Wailing Arrow. So it's a little disjointed. I'm kind of confused. There are things that obviously fit together here that are interesting, but it's not like the rogue tree, which is like so clear to me what I need to be doing and what buffs I want to be taking. But the, the majority of these talents are good talents, though. There's no talents in here that I think are just like bad, like plus 10% more damage. Obviously, Lone Wolf is 10% more damage, but that's a whole like it's a whole play style adjustment. So we'll have to like wait and see like the talents themselves are good i just don't know how good any of these things are i don't know how often this is really gonna proc it says 15 percent, but i mean we're not really sure how, what does this even mean how much damage does this do this seems good but i don't know yet the kill shot um uh the kill shot stuff seems good except it only you only have a 10 percent chance with your aim shot to grant a charge of kill shot like with the venthyr flayed shot ability it's ticking every like two seconds and you have a chance every two seconds that it ticks to give yourself a free kill shot. That's a much higher uptime on the buff than this version would be. So I don't know how good it is until I sort of really get my hands on it and look at it. There's a lot of talents here that you can now take that you couldn't take before, right? Which is cool. Master Marksman, Serpent Sting, and Murder of Crows is gone. You can take these two together. Barrage, Explosive Shot, Kfilm, you can take all three of these together. Chimera Shot, Streamline, Sativ, you can take all three of these if you want to. Double Tap, Deadeye, and Lethal Shots are all here, I think. Wait, what's what's Lethal Shots again? Yes, that's here. It's uh, right here. Lethal Shots is here. So there's a lot of like talents, Lock and Load, Volley, Calling Shots, they're all here. You can take them all together, which increases your power level from what you are right now in Shadowlands. It's hard to understand that concept because it's like we've never been able to do this before. But being able to take multiple talents from the same rows does increase your power. We're just not really sure by how much. That's what we're not really sure of. I like the class tree for Marksman Hunter. Free crit is good. I think Death Shock Room is really cool. Master Marksman is good. Barrage is actually pretty good because it's not sharing a talent anymore. These like nature and fire spells, we'll, you know, we'll have to see how good they perform. And if it's worth dipping into like Serpent Sting and then buffing it with Serpent Stalker's Trickery, I'm not really sure. A lot of this is really just sort of unknown. And on paper, I can't tell if it's going to be really strong or not. Some of the other classes that we've seen on paper, it feels like you just know intuitively that this is going to be really, really strong. So this one, I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Marksman Hunter? Do you like it? Do you like the tree as it is? They are going to move double tap. We'll have to see where that goes. But let me know your first impressions of these tree, of this tree and, and what you kind of think about it in general. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you, if you like this content and you want to see more of it. And then subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel, guys. We're trying to push for 2,000 subs. I'm kind of getting close to 2,000 subs. I really want to push there. So tell your friends about the channel. If you really enjoy it, I would, I would really appreciate some advertisement and just uh, letting people know that I'm getting close to 2K. So let them know. And then, uh, of course, guys, 
Patreon is the best way to support the future of what I'm doing here. There's a link to that down below. There's different tiers of content. We have new art coming out at the end of this month that is only for patrons. So, let you know, if you want to help join the Patreon crew, there's a link for that as well. As always, I love you all. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.